We'll guide you through how to set up a Gmail SMTP server. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. For whatever reason, you want to go and set up SMTP and go and use your Gmail with it. We're going through this step by step. So let's go and get started. So first of all, you need to go and head to your Gmail settings. So go to the top right and go and click on your profile icon and then make sure you've got the correct account selected and click on manage your Google account. Then go over to the left and you need to select security. Now you need to go and scroll down until you find two step verification and make sure this is turned on. If it isn't turned on, this is not going to work. With it turned on, go to the top and click on search Google account and type in app password, just like so. And then we can come to app passwords here. App passwords will help you sign into your Google account. So what you want to do is go and create an app name. I'm just gonna type in SMTP like so, and then click on create. Now you're gonna be given this password here. After you've got your app password, you now need to go back to the SMTP setup page. So I'm just doing this with a test tool, but you may be actually doing it with a website or whatever you're setting up. So now we need to start filling this in. So for the SMTP server, what you need to do is go and type in SMTP, dot gmail.com like so now for the port you need to go and type in 465 and for security go and select ssl now for the username this is going to be your gmail email so i'm going to go and type mine in now and then for the password that is where we can go and use the app password so come back to app passwords highlight the password and go and copy it then all you need to do is go and paste it in just here then all you need to do is type in the from email address. For that, you can just go and use your email. So I'll go and copy and paste that in now. For what you're doing, you may not have a two email address, but because we're doing a test, we do. So I've gone and entered in an email. I'm going to go and test it with, and we can then click on test it. And now an email should be sent there and hopefully it's going to go and have worked. And here it is. The test message has come through and you can see it up here and the test message. Of course, yours may be slightly different and you not, may not be doing a test as you're setting it up on a different website. But I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave a like.